Another popular address for locals who appreciate good food is Tordesillas, where Mara Salas advocates the preservation and elevation of native Brazilian ingredients. Located in the bustling Rua Belacintra area of Sao Paulo, the restaurant serves up some of regional Brazil's more obscure dishes, many of which descend from indigenous and colonial traditions. The restaurant's name, Tordesillas, references a treaty signed in 1494 between Portugal and Spain, marking the boundaries of their newly claimed lands in the Americas. Salas tells us her own cooking is an opportunity to break boundaries, putting historic Brazilian dishes in front of modern diners. Rather than taking an ultra-modern approach, Salas attempts to recreate the authentic flavors of Brazilian home cooking in the context of a contemporary restaurant. Take a stroll through her kitchen, where a collection of rustic clay and natural stone pots speak to the chef's culinary style. As Salas reminds us, informality and simplicity may also be chic. Salas shows us takaká, an Amazonian soup from the north made from dried shrimp and a rare green called jambu, which has a pleasantly sour flavor and produces a numbing sensation in the mouth. Traditionally presented in a hollowed gourd, jambu is served with a wooden skewer used to fish out the dried shrimp and dark green jambu leaves. Salas takes us to the other end of the country for her presentation of bahiado, a beef stew of Azorian origin from the city of Moeches in the southern state of Paraná. Everyday ingredients like beef stew meat, onion, garlic, scallions, tomato, and cumin are hermetically sealed and slowly simmered for 14 hours in earthen pots. As the seal is broken, clouds of steam rise from the pot. The rich broth is mixed with manioc flour called farinha for a type of side dish similar to grits called piron. The piron acts as a pillow for the tender meat and sauteed plantain slices. Bahiado is a popular dish during carnival, easily made and left to cook for hours, allowing housewives time to enjoy the festivities and return home with dinner already made. Let's listen to her describe the details of this process. The women uh, normally love to go to carnival parties. And they discover the way of uh, to participate the party and to prepare the cook for your, your husband. Because barriado is very, very easy to prepare and is long to cook. So they put every, every ingredients inside, meat, uh, garlic, onion, and the, the condiment, the main condiment is comino, cumin, cumin. And the meat is cut in, in diced like this and put inside with tomato sauce and we put the pan and seal the pan Years ago, they used to, to, to seal with the earth barro, you know, and now you use manioc flour. After about 14 hours, uh, um, uh, day before, they used to, to prepare it underground in Brazil with uh, fire over or under. Well, finalists that the, the women used to prepare go to party and when when they come in the the food is everything okay and the husband couldn't uh, argue they, they couldn't argue you know?